I'm excited to talk to you today about what's new in City Engine 2019.1 and highlight uh, some of our awesome new features. Here are my top five. The SLPK exporter now writes the i3s 1.7 format. The new i3s version is more compact and also supports physically based rendering materials. This means that the published 3D object scene layers load faster and look better in, in for example, the scene viewer or any other ArcGIS. You can now directly access and modify ArcGIS urban content in the City Engine user interface. City Engine now evaluates the ArcGIS urban zoning and overlay layers, supports the building types and space use types as declared in ArcGIS urban, allows for the creation and editing of zoning envelopes and plausible buildings using the urban CGA rule, and enables the publishing of 3D models as ArcGIS urban. We've made some improvements to the drawing tools as well. One of the more notable ones is the guides. These guides will really help you to draw models and create content in City Engine much more quickly and efficiently. Bye bye City Engine model loader template in Unreal Engine. Exported City Engine models can now be imported into any Unreal Studio project because City Engine now also runs shaders. You might remember that last year we released Palladio, a City Engine plugin for Side Effects Houdini. Well, due to the overwhelming response to that and also the fact that we also like our entertainment and visual effects customers and we really want to help them uh, with their workflows, so we've kind of gone a little bit further with that as well and so we're introducing Serlio. Serlio is a new plugin for Autodesk Maya that enables the execution of City Engine rules within a Maya scene. So this means that someone like a 3D environment artist doesn't need to leave their familiar toolset anymore in order to make use of City Engine's procedural modeling power. The buildings stay procedural throughout the entire workflow, which again means that you, as a 3D environment artist, can change things like the building height, the style, or the appearance using a parametric interface at any point during production. We hope you enjoy the new City Engine 2019.1 version, and don't forget to use the hashtag CityEngineers on social media or post into GeoNet if you have any questions that you'd like answered. Bye.